guide in this video I'm going to show you how to make the orbit rings that appear to be rotating around a sphere in KOWP. Now you can pick this preset up for free from my free wallpapers folder just look for the preset called orbit. This preset here we have a ring duration we can speed the rings up setting ring dur to one is one tenth of a second therefore this particular duration means those rings are rotating one revolution every tenth of a second. Slowing that back down, we also have a gradient. These rings have horizontal or vertical gradients. It doesn't really matter there, but it is a gradient. If I cut that off, what we actually have is an image that you can change right here inside of the globals. That image will be applied to the rings. And what I also want you to notice is that the rings have a thickness to it. And I'm going to show you this in this tutorial. I'm just really copying and pasting the rings and I'm shifting one up or down or maybe left or right to give it somewhat of a thickness. For added bonuses, I will not cover this in the tutorial, but it's nothing fancy. If we cut the moon on, there is a moon right there and we can make it rotate around the planet faster or slower. Or you can just cut it off. So to make this, I have a blank preset here and I've already added two shapes, nothing fancy here. I have my sphere, which is technically a circle that we have right here in the center. I have its width set to 400. It's positioned in the center of the screen and underneath FX, I have a radial gradient to give it somewhat of a spherical look to it. And it'll look more like a sphere once we start rotating these rings around it. And for its paint, I have a dark gray to somewhat blend in with that black radial gradient. And then I have this back ring here. That's the one that you see here. Its width is bigger than the sphere. You can use whatever numbers you want. Just make sure the ring is bigger than the sphere. And underneath paint, I have a stroke applied. It's set to 20. Again, that number there, adjust it to your liking. It's also positioned in the center. And for its FX, I have a vertical gradient. So let's take this back ring and let's start to work on it. What we want to do first of all is go ahead and scale this thing vertically so that it will look somewhat like a horizontal ring. So for the back ring, I'm going to go over to animation and I'm going to add an animation reacting on a formula. And for that formula, I'm going to set it to F. I always want this thing to be animating forward. Now right now it's scrolling. Let's set that to scale out vertical and let's set the amount to around maybe 75%. So now we have what looks like a ring, but it's behind the shape because that's the way I have the back ring layered in relationship to this sphere. Let's add another animation. Let's react on loop and let's set this to rotate. Now our ease needs to be straight. Therefore, we don't have any stopping or starting or whatever. It's just one continuous rotation. And you can tie in some number globals if you'd like. I'm just going to leave the duration at 10. But again, tie in some number globals there if you'd like. So there is our back ring. Let's copy and paste that black ring and call this one back ring 2. I'm going to drag this behind the sphere. And I'm going to come into that back ring 2. And I'm going to adjust its position slightly with some Y offset. This is going to give us some thickness. Now, don't worry about what the advanced editor is showing right now. I know it looks crazy. Let's save this and check it out. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but it does give that ring some thickness by us having two rings back there and adjusting the Y offset of one of them. Now, let's work on the front. Copy and paste back ring one and call this front ring one. Now, this one is going to be in front of the sphere. And now notice that we do have a ring in front of the sphere. But what we have to do here is we have to clip it. We don't want to see this top part. I only want to see this part right here. And we can clip just so that we see this part for the front ring. But before we do that, I want to take back ring two, copy and paste it. This is the one that has that wall set applied. And I'm going to call this front ring two. Now that one is also in front of the sphere because we want these two rings to be in the front. So now notice that we have two rings. Everything looks nice and smooth and uniform, but again, we do want to block out these front two rings. We want to block that spot out, so we need to apply a clip down here so that we only see this part right here. To do that, let's add a shape and let's add a circle slice. So I've called this shape clip front, and again, we're going to make that a circle slice. We want to position this in the center and it's very small right now. So let's go back to that shape. So let's set the width to the same size as the sphere. And if you recall, that was 400. Now what I also want to do is make this angle 180 degrees. That's going to give you a full 180 degree piece here. And now the height, if we take half of the width, which is going to be 200, it's going to give us a full half circle. There we go. So now let's go to rotation and let's rotate this thing 90 degrees. So now our half circle is down here. So I'm going to take my clip front, slide it above front ring one and front ring two. That's essentially putting it behind it. And this is going to show exactly what I want to happen a lot better. Notice the rings, the front two rings are right there. When we make this half circle a clip, it's only going to show this part of the front rings. 
and it's going to hide that part back there because that is not inside of this half circle. So hopefully you know what to do here. Go to that clip front. Let's go to FX, mask, clip all. Save it. Let's check it out. And there you have it. So yeah, this is just one of those rings. You can do something very similar with the vertical ring, except you would make your half circle, you know, maybe over here or maybe over here, depending on how you had that scaling set up. And you can go back and add more rings if you like to give it even more thickness. Pick up my free preset and dive into all of those other pieces and check out the codes and the number globals and see how all of those things interact. But I wanted to give you an overview of how to make this orbit ring in KOWP. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.